Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to update you on my rants about, you know, Dexter's Lab and Bob's Burgers. Those rants were done a while back. And I was complaining too much in the Dexter's Lab, whining too much, being, you know, immature. Well, yeah, I was pretty immature for my age. I was like, um... 16 at the time, 15, 16 when I did this. I am now 22, almost 23 years old, and, um, yeah, that was, I shouldn't have been complaining like that, like I wanted Dexter's lab back. Of course, even after all this time, it hasn't come back. Do you know what has come back was the Powerpuff Girls and Teen Titans in the form of Teen Titans Go. And I heard from the grapevine that both shows are getting very negative reviews. I haven't watched Teen Titans Go, but I've heard very negative things about that one. And I've watched the Powerpuff Girls, and um, I heard um, pretty negative things about that, even though I've... Not as negative as Teen Titans Go, but you know, still pretty negative things. I have watched all the Powerpuff Girls 2016 episodes, and to be honest, some of them were okay, and others were just men, and some of them were really bad. I didn't like the episode Painbo. What was even the point of that one? A uh, rainbow causing all the citizens of Townsville to come become unnaturally happy. Like, there was really no... Was it... I mean, the pan I know the panda was a villain, but was he really a villain? I mean, it just turns out that he's just another thing from another dimension. I have no idea. That was just too weird for me. There was really no villain. Plus, as a matter of fact, in the new Pop of Girls, the villains are barely featured at all. I mean, you got the new villains like Man Boy and Pack Rat, but you don't get to see Mojo Jojo. And I've seen Princess more than Mojo Jojo. In the original Pop of Girls, Mojo Jojo was like the main uh, main villain. I mean, of course you had him, but him's like only gotten like one episode. Like Princess has gotten two. Mojo's. I mean, yeah. But I mean, I'm not really too angry that they got new voice actors. But I don't see the point of. Them killing off Miss Bellum. Maybe she's too inappropriate, but then again, they're being a little bit hypocritical on that. Um, apparently, like a lot of you've said before, they allow twerking and whatnot, but they don't allow Miss Bellum to be on the show or continue. Also, I've heard that Miss Kane's breasts have been removed. I don't get it. I mean, what is wrong with their initial designs? I, I mean, I'm not really angry at the show. I mean, I'd say the first couple of episodes that I've seen were ter were not that good, but I didn't, honestly, I didn't mind seeing the most recent ones like Viral Spiral, although they made some, that one was okay to be honest. I liked the Frenemy one. I liked, I know they did, the Princess one was okay. And, and I know you're a lot of you like, oh, yeah, there shouldn't be morals in the new Pop of Girls. Like, they never had morals in the original one. But actually, that's not true. The girls did learn a lesson, and it did indirectly teach a moral. And yes, I get it. Some of them might be forced, and, um, yeah. But, you know... I think it's good that they're teaching morals, but they're being over the top girly with all these. You're right. I mean, it's it's not as action packed. I mean, yeah. I mean, I know there's a reason why a lot of it will be missing, but anyway, onto my rant, onto my aftermath of my Bob's Burger reviewed. The the network Fox aired Bob's Burgers about five years ago, 
It was five years ago after I watched the first episode, and yeah, I didn't get the series a chance. Actually, that's, I've heard the series has actually turned out pretty decent, and it's actually good. But the first episode, it just was kind of weak to me, but... I, and, I, that's, and that's part, primarily my fault, because I didn't give the series a chance. I never did. I mean, I've actually seen bits and pieces of newer episodes, and actually it's pretty funny. I mean, who can blame me? I was, um, about 17 years old during that time frame, and of course I hadn't gained a lot of maturity. Yeah, I... And the, I apologize, in all these older videos, I sound terrible. I sound very one-sided, biased, and forget all this acne on my face. I'm under a lot of stress right now, but besides that, I've learned, you know, that um, it's not good to just give, just point out the bads about things. You also have to point out the positives. And you know what? At least they're not making fun of autistic people, which I thought initially was the case. Tina has actually gotten the upper hand. Tina Belcher. Yeah, I know it follows that same kind of formula, like the, the idiot father, the, the, the very sane mother. Yeah, I mean, again, like a couple of other people stated, it is a cliche, and it Really? I mean, yeah. I mean, there are exceptional animated fathers like Greg Universe, who's not an idiot, but he's just the exception. I don't think Greg Universe is an idiot. I've seen, like, every episode of Steven Universe up to this point. Very good show. Although, they could have hyped the cluster to be a, be a better thing than it really was the result. Sorry if I'm not looking directly at the, like, lens or s thing all the time. I'm just focusing on the, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about this. Uh, I'm obviously going all over the place. But, you know, Bob's Burgers, it's a good show. I haven't heard any bad things about it. The fir I mean, the first, season first seasons of cartoons are generally the weakest. And you know what? That's pretty much true. I mean, even with The Simpsons, I didn't find the first season as impressive as, like, season, like, two was actually surprisingly a lot better than season one when I watched it on DVD. I mean, it just builds up characters. You've got to give it time, and I didn't give Bob's Burgers a chance. It, it, I really feel bad about that. I mean, just criticizing it after the first episode, that's just not... Right, you have to actually watch a couple of episodes and just see how the series is doing. I didn't even watch season episode two of season one. So I was pretty biased on my opinion. See, as I made some pretty ridiculous videos. Of course, I can't get into my other account because of the Google merger. I for it's my email's linked to a different account. Well, my Edward Doraemon account is, like, linked to my different account. But anyway, yeah, so. I just want to thank you for all watching. And um, if you think I've improved on, you know, if I'm not as biased as I used to be, trust me, I'm not trying to be biased in any way, shape, or form. But, yeah. So, anyway, if you have anything to say, please leave a comment down below. I don't expect you to subscribe right away, but if you really think my rants make any sense, or my arguments, please, I mean, it would be, I guess it wouldn't hurt. So, anyway, have a nice day.